welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and Aiden is in the house. Aiden in the bed is his name. Um, he's come in for, I don't know what for, to have some fun, I guess. And um, I appreciate him coming, so I'm going to put him right to work. We're going to work on this video, and uh, that's what we always do, I guess, but we're going to go right to work. I'm just going to explain what's going to happen, and then we'll go to work. Now, on this side, on this side, I ground the piece of metal that I put in there. I ground it off, flushed it off, got our little, got our, our body line going again, uh, ground it clean, made it look right, got the door tops welded on, cleaned them up. The door fits good all the way around. I'm very happy with it. I do not know if the window will wind up. I'm going to try it right this second. Just going to try it, and if it does not, oh well. Okay, you can see what's going on there. Uh, it, it winds up no problem, but we're going to have to have some <laughs> It's a little shy there in the corner. Maybe we could put it something else there. I'm not sure, but it does wind up. Um, Alrighty. So we're going to go to the other side. I ground this one and showed you this side because Jolene said when it come to this side, she said it didn't, it didn't look like it flowed that well. It didn't look to her. It didn't look like it flowed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this up grind it to look like the other side to show you how I made it look like the other side and get this body line going again what tools I used and whatever uh, I'm gonna get Aiden to cut a piece of metal for me uh, we're gonna make the window fit there was a comment that came in uh, Jolene was looking at her phone a comment came in and said I bet ten thousand dollars that they'll never put glass in the front window well I'll take that bet and I'll raise you ten thousand. <laughs> take that bet and raise you ten thousand. Alrighty, so we're gonna just take what we got going on here. Um, you can see I'll go on the other side. Joey's standing right there. You can see on this side where the post comes down, where this where this edge is. That's where the rubber goes on to put the hold the window in. You can see how it's right in line with this piece right here, this step right here. You can see how it's in line with this right here. So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to get put Aiden to work just, just as quick as anything. We're going to make a piece of metal with this sweetheart shape, and we're going to put it on this edge right here to match up with this edge. So when we, when we lay the glass in there, or put the rubber in there, excuse me, the rubber will fit on the edge all the way around on here, and then it's going to have a new edge here to go on, and then we're going to run a piece of metal from here over to there. So there's going to have a new piece of metal that's going to lay on straight up going here. We're going to have a new um, half inch or quarter inch lip that runs on with the, with the post so we can lay the window in there. And then we're going to weld a piece of metal from the top of here to the face of that. So there's going to be a piece of metal all the way along here standing straight up with the lip. Then there's going to be a piece of metal welded into that and that'll cure our window issue and it'll be all over and I will have won twenty thousand dollars right on Aiden right on right on he says um, so we're gonna get the shape of how I'm gonna get the shape is it's gonna grab a piece of Bristol board don't know if that's the good one. let's do it piece of Bristol board what I'm gonna do is just gonna lay it on here like this Gonna see my dirty fingers on that. Okay. I got that shape. want the shape find it dirty going on you can see how I got it there Aiden can't you somewhat yes he's in there all right cool it's good to have Aiden back how's school going Aiden ah, fine and dandy fine and dandy he says I expected nothing less getting closer to graduating or what getting there getting there A long process long process and what will you be when you're done? I have a psychology degree. A psychology degree. So you'll be able to look at me and say, I know what's wrong with that guy. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> Analyzing it. Oh, no. All right, so we have, I'm saying that's close to, close to the shape right there. That's called, the, I guess, a sweetheart shape there. That's close to the shape there. We want that above this one uh, because we're welding a piece of metal to this edge here. We're welding into this one. So we want that at least, at least, you know, I'm putting that on there. We want at least that much. So we want at least that. See how thick I got that? We want at least that much. We can buzz it off with a with the flapper wheel if we want to. And we can. And we got so we're going to. I'm, I'm saying that that should be enough. Just drawing this on there, freehanding it, obviously. Why not? We can flapper wheel it to the distance that we want, or cut it with the zip cut to the shape that we want. I'm hoping that that's long enough. It is lots long. Um, I'm going to I'm going to give this to Aiden. Aiden's going to cut it out. Um, what am I going to say? A pair of scissors, cut that out. Trace it on to your. We got some 14, 14 gauge over here. Uh, this lip is two pieces. The lip coming up from the dash and the lip from the body metal of the car. So it's added together. Um, so we're basically about the same thickness there. That's what we're going to use for that. We have company coming today. We have, I'm not sure if, I'm going to measure that. Let's see if we can get two pieces out of this one piece. Sure. You can cut that out with a pair of scissors though, first Aiden, if you'd like. <laughs> Go on, Timbo. Come on in. We got a live studio audience coming in today. Tim with the Fiero. He's bringing us coffee. Um, he's just going to hang out just like he always does when he comes that we're just going to run the video anyways because that's what we're doing and we're on air uh, i want a tape measure two feet right on right on two feet two feet of work good morning tim good morning two feet <laughs> Tim Tim's gonna get a new job probably. He's gonna he's gonna be answering all comments. Comment on buzz. Fifty two, center of twenty five of uh, twenty five and a half would be center, would it not? Mm -hmm. I think so. Twenty six. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing Jolene's here. All right, so you, you'll be able to, let's, let's, we'll cut that in half. You can cut that half, and then we'll take, you want to cut that line too? Okay. Yeah, you want both lines. We'll cut this in half, and then you can cut some off of that. Oh, what's, what will happen, well, this is what we'll do. You can cut that line, yep. and then you can put that right to the end, like, We'll use, we'll use this end, I guess. Why not? Yeah. You can put that right to the end there. And we're going to say that that's going to be enough. Wherever you can. Doesn't matter. Just this piece is going to be a little bit long. You can cut it off there if you like. And that way there you can get one piece of this piece and one piece of that one. Because I need two. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Thanks, Alrighty. So I'm going to take and weld this up and grind this off to make it look like something. To show you how I did it, um, you know, sometimes um, I think you all know how I got it to look like that. I welded it all up and then I ground it off. But Jolene said last night that she, you know, didn't see that piece flowing that well. But when you come to the other side, you get to see what it actually looks like. And you'll see exactly how I did it. I just kind of put that piece in there, exact same thing. Uh, I used the die grinder to make that body line go there. Oh, that could be adjusted there, but that body line lines up nice now. Uh, it had it was round there before, but it does not matter. What what we're doing right now is what matters. But we'll grind that up over there, and we'll show you how we did it. And Aiden's allowed to cut that piece any way you want to. If you want to cut it with a zip cut, if you want to probably use the plasma cutter, no doubt in my mind. He's already got it geared up. So 
So I'm going to weld this bad boy up and show you how I ground it off and make it look nice. Just for Jolene. Just for you, baby. Jolene looks amazing today. I've got uh, a little bit here. It's kind of overlap there a little bit where I welded on the post from before. I'm just going to put a zip, run a zip cut through it and flush it out and that way there I can run it so it's flush. Hammer on the other side. And then we'll make the window. We'll put the pieces in for the window. The only reason I cut that is because I want, when I weld that back together, I don't want it overlapped because it's hard. I can't grind it all off if I've overlapped it. I think you know what I'm what I'm saying. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning. Got a gap going on here. Takes a little bit to get used to. I've used a coat hanger, but once you get used to it and onto it, he's pissed. If I weld something up, I like to take a little heat away with my glove sometimes. Just rub my glove over top of the weld, the weld, or I hit it like that, trying to disturb the molecules running away, trying to... Molecules are is a big word for me to say, but... I mean, what a molecule is, but there's something in there running away when it gets hot. I can tell you one thing, if you, get, if you burnt me, I'd run away. <laughs> Take, trying to take some heat out of it. Um, when, when I have this like here, I've got a ledge. When that comes in like that, I've got a ledger. That's why I've got more weld on this side of the post than I have on that. Because when I grind it off, I want something to feather off uh, to make it so it looks right. I can't weld it right directly down that seam and expect to grind it off flush. It does not happen. Or it, it can, but you will not be happy with the outcome. I'm going to put a little weld on here in the corner. Now, I put some weld in that corner so I can flush that off. It's just for the grinding purposes. That's all it's for. Generally, it's hard to, not hard to, but to warp something up where all this is. I've said it before. Um, I'm putting quite a bit of heat to it. I generally put the air to it. And I have not been putting the air to it. Sometimes the air um, makes it harder than normal. Like when I go to grind it uh, with the air, it makes it hard. The grinding hard. You can see how I'm running more weld out. Trying to take some heat out of it with my glove. 
Uh, leather really does soak up the heat. If you don't realize that, take a leather glove on and uh, throw it on something hot and hold it for a bit and feel how long leather holds the heat. Bust this out. Makes a difference. Makes a difference. Looking for spots. All I'm doing is looking for spots now. When I go to grind it off, is it going to get it off? I get a little spot right in there. That looks like when I grind it off, I'm going to have a, like a low spot. So I'm going to hit it with the weld. Put a little weld on it. Not saying that it's not welded. It's just for grinding purposes. That's the end of it for grinding purposes. Not make sure anything gets all warped out of place or anything. And I also want it welded on there. So it's going pretty good. I can't wait to get this window done. I'm going to make twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> I said to Jolene, I cut the roof back in half and put it back where it was what where it was supposed to be to make to, to win the, the, the ten thousand dollars. That's what I would do. But I don't have to, so we'll just carry on. So I'm gonna let that heal. Tim, I want you to find that comment and see if we can get that on paper. I want I want that ten thousand dollars. But he said, I bet ten thousand dollars I'll never get a window put in it. Now, obviously he's a liar, didn't mean it. <laughs> Alrighty. What I'm going to do, the second is, is I'm going to cut this center piece out. We're not going to use that. Um, we're not going to use that. We're going to cut that out because we're going to put a piece in behind there. We're going to have to weld that and get that in there. So I'm going to cut that off. The piece that goes in there originally is going to have to be modified because it come down in here and add it with this piece. It's going to have to be modified, shortened. And then what, I think what will happen, once we get the glass in there, we'll seal the glass together in one piece, and then this piece here could be modified and just glued on to the center of the glass. So let's cut that off. How are you making out, Aiden? She's going. She's going, he says. And this piece, it looks like he's making a sword, but this piece here, we can uh, <laughs> put a handle on it, sharpen her up. Um, we can just take the flapper wheel and make it so it fits so we want to fill it as, fit as nice as possible when you get them both cut i want you to just hold it down on the ground take it the body take the body hammer just knock off that slag you know how i do that stand on it and just knock it off it's going good though but just going to use a flapper wheel to smooth it off i'll cut this off or i might even do it because i'll have time <clears throat> i will have time <laughs>
just digging the piece off that's welded on there. Try to dig it off anyway, so. I think this is probably cool enough to knock the weld off of that. I'm sorry ladies about the grinding and all that sort of stuff, but I'm the only way to get anything done. I'm going to clap and reel this off, show you how I do it. I'm basically thinking everybody probably knows how I do it, but um, if you do not know, the only way to really know is to show you. I'm going to hold the weld, or the grinder, or the flapper wheel, right on the weld. I'm, going to, I'm trying to get that weld down first. I really don't want to do anything to the piece yet. I want to get the, I want to get the weld down. Right, you see how I'm grinding the weld? Fuse. That's fine. It's only a fuse. We got a brand new fuse block. All we have to click her back over and do her again. Rock and roll. Good stuff. Thank you very much. You'll be done in a second there. Will you not? Sure you will be. You freehanding that? You bad cat. Push the weld off there now, or right there I do, so I'm just going to do the rest of it. I'm going to take the zip cut and I'm going to feather it off a little bit. Just go easy.
see I'm using the, the, the flapper or the zip tie to feather off the edge of the weld. If I get sanded, you can see how I sanded the weld off. I get sanded, you see I sanded the metal there. I get sanded too much with that big sander. I, I might hit some place and take too much off is what I'm thinking. With the zip cut, I can just lay the edge on and just feather that edge off. And also, as you can tell, I'm not grinding it so it's going black. I don't, if it's going black, that means you're getting it really, really hot. And I'm not grinding it that hard. I just want to feather it off. You can remember, right, I laid quite a bit of weld in there uh, to feather that off. I've got it sanded off pretty good there now. I don't think I've taken too much off it. I'm gonna grab the air from Aiden. It's off. That's no worries. We'll, to be, we'll have to sand that to get that in shape. Take this Use a little die grinder. First I'm gonna close the, the door. marker over here. I'm just going to draw the line here where I want it to look like. I'm just going to take the die grinder and come down to that black line. That is a 36 or a 40 grit flapper wheel. I might change the flapper wheel. You right with you, Aiden? No worries, no worries. Right with you. I'm just gonna take this and put this in here. It's kind of makes some noise, but.
clean it all up now. Stand it lightly. So basically that's how I ground that other piece off. I just got a, got a couple little plates I just feathered off. It's probably the best that I, I want to feather it off. And uh, just like what they've done there, where they connect the roof off, they put a little bit of lead in there. I, I think that I'll probably be allowed to put a little bit of something there just like they have. And uh, I'm happy with it because I'm happy with it because it flows out nice. The door line continues up the post. Uh, this has got a nice action to it going up there. That's probably the way it was, no doubt in my mind. So uh, I'm happy with this side just as well as the other side. So now we're going to make the window post. Now we're going to make some money. <laughs> some money. Let's grab our sword. Um, what I'm going to do just right off the get-go, I'm going to take the flapper wheel and just try to get a straighter line with it going on there. Can you... We got our, our yellow piece, our, pa our pattern. Let's draw me a line on each one of those to get me, to get me where I need to, where I need to be. So draw me a, draw me a line on that. Will you Aiden by? Please, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. Turn it over this way, see what happens. Nope. I'm gonna go the other way. And I'm just going to take that to the line. All right, you put that on there. We should have lots. Yep. Yeah. Some of them I'm going to some of them I'm going to cut, and some of them I'm going to sand. I meant to do that. Yeah. So we just made it a little bit bigger than it should be to allow for sanding. We're, we're 14 gauge, we're probably, well, just as wide as two pieces of 18 gauge going together. Now this piece, we've, it's too long, and that's okay, so we'll cut some off. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it by the outside. How's that? We'll go from the point. Get out of my pocket.
What I did is I went to the point of that to this lip right here is what we're trying to join up with. So we've got a lip over here. We got lots to cut off here. We still got lots cut off, and then we're got a piece to go into there, and then we got a place for a window. Woo! -hoo! Alrighty. And you can see how I'm joined up over here. So that goes that. So the lip will come right around. We'll make a little. We'll come right around and join up to that one. Um, just kind of let's take it and turn it around for a second. I wonder if it'd be easier to put it right down in there. It probably even would look better. I'm going to cut a little bit off, or a little bit long. Aiden, you want to hop in that bad boy? Inside? Yeah, if, if go to the other side, now the door should open for you. Right. Hop in there. Just gonna. So what I'm gonna plan on doing, got that lined up there. I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. And then I'll get you to trace a line holding your pen on the on the dash, and we'll go all long and scribe it all the way long so it fits perfect. Okay. I think we've got enough to do that. So, all right with you. Do you have a marker on you? I do indeed. Look at that, he does. Cooking with gas. We've got lots. Well, what am I thinking? There's lots up top there to put that window in. Yes, there is. That's gonna come ahead some. Does that fit good on that, down on that? It's got some space. It's got some space? All right. Just wondering how much slip we got up here. Can you draw me a line on it? Try to run it and describe it as best you can? This? There. Just lay your marker. Right at the bottom and go along. See what you got going on. Got some space underneath, that's all. Go for it, just see what happens. Run it all the way along, see if I like it. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. Okay. Maybe start from the other end. I want to see what that looks like. Doesn't it? It's going underneath it. Oh, it's going underneath of it? Yeah. Let's set it on. It basically probably could just be welded in there, like in the what, what, with that little thing. Just take a look here. Just hold up there at the front there, right at the point. And I'll hold it back here. All right. Run your marker along the, hold it flat like this. You see, Let's see if you can do this. Huh. Just hold on the dash and I don't know if that's too much or, hmm. Yeah, keep going all the way along. All right, I like your mark way better than mine. Got a little tick right here. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take your line and I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna take his line he scribed it with, cut it off.
Whoa! Who's your daddy? You like that better? That fits lovely. Wow. That fits lovely. Push your end up in there. You push your... It might be hot. might be hot. That fits good, don't it? Push that in tight if you... Like, is it a corner hole in yoke? Is that what's going on? Yeah, just okay. a little bit let me, let me see. Let me show... Mm -hmm. Push it in and mark it where I got to cut it. Remember, we want this... That's what you want cut off all the way up, or do you want to remember this is coming together in the center? In the center bit. So do you want how do you do you want that line coming up to that point or do you yeah. so just start from where you're at and then come up to that point? Yeah, just to the end. So in other words, you're saying do this. Correct. I like being right. Correct, he says. Correct. And if there is a little bit of gap, it does not matter. And the reason being is because we get, we know how to fill it. That's going to be hot. You see, does it fit in there now? Yeah. Whoa, love it, love it, love it. Now that would be pretty pretty easy to weld that in there like that, would it not? I would say so. Yeah, we've got enough on top to make that work. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to tack that in there. Why not? Like, there's no sense me r r trying to run it on top when that works just fine, just like that. It's going to come up there like that. And then that will run up to the window. I love it. I absolutely love it. Beautiful. Run that along the dash there. We'll weld that right along there, nice and neat. And then we'll run a piece back from there to that. I want to mark the other piece that we have with this. Um, I'd like to have that cleaned off. That, the, just clean the that corner. Kind of. Just clean the so we can weld it up nice. Yeah, where it's going to sit. Um, just wondering, wondering what we can stick in there to clean that up nice. I don't know why I didn't stop into Canadian Tire to get something to clean that with. I'm gonna stop in there and get a. I think a piece of sandpaper will do it, Aiden. I give you a piece of sandpaper instead of getting a grinder up in there. Like it just seems like excessive. Morning, Fina. We'll just scratch that. See if you can scratch the paint off. How much? They didn't put very much paint on them years ago. I can tell you that. Look, you can scratch. Just scratch right along that, right along here, and get the paint off on this side and that side. It shouldn't take very much to, if you can bear onto it and get that cleaned off right there. That's where we're going to weld it right along there. Right in the corner. Yeah. Well, right in. Just clean this top shelf off. Gotcha. Cool. I'm going to take the piece that we just. Taking it off, no problem? Or not yet? Oh well. Anyway, no. You had the bear on her, that's all. Take this piece. We have another. This is the piece. Where's that? I'm hoping that. I say hoping. But
the other side should be the same. So I'm just going to cut this one. Cut it or flap or wheel it. This could be hot. You right. want to see if that hits that side? Yeah. Fifty-five yeah, fits good, don't it? Yeah, it's got that little bump there. Still take that bump, uh, push it in, see what... It's got to come down some, does it? That bump's still there, is it? Yeah. Can you, you want to mark it for me? Looks like some of it might have to come out in the center to get... The, okay. Still gonna come down? We gonna come down in the center, haven't we? Yeah. Mark where the gap. You wanna describe it for me from the, from there where the where the sea where it's yes, yeah, exactly. Try to get it, yep, go ahead. Yep, I'll go with that. It's a good start. That's a good start. Watch your hands, could be hot. No, I got it backwards, have I? Yep. <laughs> That's better, isn't it? Yep. Let me see the, down your end there, is there a little end? Push it. Any more cut out of that bad boy down there? Yeah, just a little on the... All right. Not that way, the, over top of the bump. Go right over top of the bump. I don't know if that's gonna. To be honest with you, that's not really really gonna do anything. 
but then they, there's not really much I mean we got nothing we got no holes there so we're just going to push it in anyways and weld it so it should be fine I'm thinking can we get it can you hold it up straight with the with this that lip see that lip there this lip right here run that straight with that lip that's how it has to go let me see now bring it my way now what has to happen to get that to go down make something happen for me to get that to go down like drum make does it go over top that bump is it what's got to go on they're hitting that bumper or is it fine it's got a little bit of gap at the bottom but not that much I, I know I know what I want to do I'm going to hit that with a hammer a little bit there see it on this side okay that one fits good on that one we got lots. Yeah, that's fine. Actually. Let's cut a little more out of this. Just a little better. Mm -hmm. That one fits really good on that side, so we can use either one on either side. All right. And we'll be able to grind, do a nice one spot at a time up in there, if you know what I'm saying. Like dot, 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 to make a nice weld on along there. That would be nice. I'm going to tack that on that. Look, look all right to you? That's good. Okay, good. Looks good to me, too. All right, you just take your, I guess, we might have to, I'm not sure we'll have to get a grinder up in there or not. I'm just going to tack that in there. The top edge can be ground off, cut off after it's done. Let's just put this, this piece in here fits so good here, so I'm going to put it here. No ground. Now this top lip is kind of pointing down this way a little bit. We're just going to have to manipulate that to come down to this one. Basically that's it. Fitting good up in the center, is it Aiden? Yep. Okay, good. Tacking it in case I have to cut it. Um, you're going to hold it right where you want it. Can you tack it in, in there somewhere without a helmet? Just a second, she'll get you the helmet. Now, what are they going to say now? Uh, tack it in here somewhere. So put the wire, get that wire out just a little bit further. Eh, it's far. Oops. Get it pointed right, in to, right where you want it. You want that wire cut off, do you? Uh, I can click it off real fast. Here, I can clip it off, get it something, clip it off, just so you get a better start. That's it. Yeah. Clip it off the distance that you want. Because as soon as you hit the metal, it, you're in there on an angle. If you don't have, if you have too short, it's up in the, up in the, nope. It's up in the throat further. Yeah. Get it up right up in, yeah. 
No, up further and further. Yep. Alrighty, I just want you to get one tack in there. I, th and this metal is thicker than probably the, well, it don't matter, just get a tack in there. Put your wire exactly where you want to tack it, right in the center of both pieces of metal, and then just give her a shot. Yeah. Weld for you? Yep. Good. Got both of them. Huh? Got both. Good. Add a bit more to it. Second. No, it's perfect for now. Yeah, you may as well put one up here. We'll put one. We'll do one every inch. How's that? Go every inch. As long as it's in there tight. Go ahead. In between? Yep. Yeah, just keep them that distance apart and we'll just run them all the way along there. I'll hold it in tight. Yeah. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. Keep coming along. Yeah. That should be good for now. That'll hold it. That'll hold it. Now, as we got this piece in here, now we're going to cap it off in there. Cap this off. And then we have... Then we'll shave that off the same distance as that, that quarter inch. So I'm going to take and I don't know if I want to beat that down or run. We want to run it on an angle, sort of, so that when y'all, you know, I probably are thinking about water and all that sort of stuff, but to be honest with you, like, are we going to be running it during the water season? But, anyways, I could aim it down this way. It probably wouldn't be the best way because what's going to happen is going to sit down there. I probably should aim it off straight. So if it hits down there, it runs down all the way along that trough. I'll turn that off for a second. Do we have we have the other piece in there, or I have the other piece? Uh, on the table. It's over here. Yeah, it's over here. We may as well put this piece in, have we not? See if it'll work. Sure it will. How's that piece fit? Um, we're a little long. I'm gonna cut that piece in in the center. Here's go. Does that look like that's going up straight, that one there, or do I have to cut them both? Well, sort of have to cut them both, don't I? That one there should have been um, up like that. I'm gonna cut that one. I gotta cut that one there because because I think I have to. I'm gonna get the zip cut. Watch your eyeballs for a second, Aiden. Gotcha. I don't know how you watch your eyeballs, but you know what I'm talking about. On the cross side. Yeah. I need a longer disc. Jolene bought me some ginger beer last night. We've been we were when we were in Australia, uh, we there was quite a bit of we drank quite a bit of ginger beer down there. And uh, she bought me some last night. And I was just playing around up here. And uh, she told me that there was probably four pounds of sugar in each one. And uh, that's what my fat ass doesn't need. <laughs> it tasted some good though. 
Oh, I forgot to tell you, that's got to put four pounds of sugar in it. <laughs> I got a little piece of metal down there that I want to get rid of. I'm going to hook the die grinder up and see if I can get it with a die grinder instead of hitting the dash. I don't want to hit the dash. The dash is very dashing. That makes a noise. Pretty good job, eh? Good. Oh, we treadies. Now I might have to cut this other piece, but. Oh, we can weld that together, can't we? Yeah, we're bad. Nope, it's gonna knock a little bit off because we're a little bit long. I wanna hit that. What I'll do is I'll run the zip cut that down together. I'll zip cut that together. And I want to hit that hammer for a second. Hammer. It's over here. Stay with me. Stay with me. I want to hit that. It seems to be poking out a little bit. Just want to bend it in just a little tiny bit. Get the fitment just a little bit better. I don't think that done me anything, but. Make the top right. Doesn't matter about the bottom. Fits all good along there, does it? Good enough to weld it? I sure it does. So. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take and do I have when I put that right like that, do I have too much access? Nope. Not at all. Good. I'm gonna take it to welder, tack that corner, and then uh, we'll give you the welder to Put it, I'll cut it, we'll split it and put it in place. Just pull it over this way. Just take it over there. Are we high enough there? I'm wondering. Hoping. Oh, don't need in there, I guess. It's good there? Yep. It's welding on that lip. Yeah, I'm just gonna give that to you. Gotcha. I'm gonna get the zip cut and zip back so it goes together. Actually, I'll take this and put it in this way. that off. There we go, Aiden. Give me a shot of weld. 
Here, let me, can I see the welder for a second? Mm -hmm. And I can plunk it on the back side here. Oh, that one fell on me, did it? All right. This one's still fitting good? Yeah. All right, let's plunk her down. I'll hold good on the other side, hold it. And then you can do the deal that way. I'll just stare it up here. I'll just hold it in tight. Yeah, it's coming along as long as it's in there tight. Yeah. Hard to get in there? A little bit. A little bit. Out of practice. <laughs> Out of practice? A little bit. I was thinking, just put you right underneath the fire first thing you get here. That's the best thing to do. If it spits a little bit, it's fine. I, I just leave it. You know, just end up making another puddle on top of it. Once you weld, once you start welding it, then that's the time to. close in some areas. I don't mean by close. Exactly. We're close. But we can bend this down. Now, we have that in there. Hold that up from the back side. Let me cap that off. Take it, I just want to take a piece of. I'm going like that, all the way down around. We might have to. We tuck it in that high way. We won't have enough. Well, we will figure it. Then we cap that off, and then we'll go from there. What's what's the video at? One ten. One ten. All righty. You know what we're doing now? We've got this piece put in here on the back side. That's the lip that's going all the way around. Now we're going to put the piece in that caps it, that finishes off, um, finishes off the firewall. So that's you know finish that off. Then we'll just come in here and put that along there, trace that along the bottom, then we'll weld along here and weld it to the face of that thing. Uh, we got all the welding to do on the inside of the dash all the way along there. Um, that's no real biggie, I don't think. Well, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's not. And then we'll close that off, then we'll have a lip all the way around, and then I will have $20,000. All right, thanks everybody for coming back. We appreciate it. Thanks for Aiden coming in, helping helping what's going on. Appreciate that. Uh, we'll end up probably probably flying right along on this because me and Aiden are going to work while we're here. We, you know, we got nothing else we're, we're going to do. We'll get it welded up and then we'll show you tomorrow what it looks like. You know how I, I will grind it off. I will grind just the welds generally and then try to feather it off after that and we'll go from there. Like, subscribe, have fun. See you tomorrow. See you later.